Our next story is about the rise and fall of Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. And the fall here is in the literal sense, by the way. As per reports in January, about 120 SpaceX Starlink satellites burnt up in the Earth's atmosphere. Three to four of them re-entered the Earth each day, disintegrating and leading to the creation of artificial meteor showers. Now, while these may seem harmless, scientists have raised concern about the threats being posed to the environment. Now, in case you weren't aware, Starlink is the name of a satellite network developed by Musk's private spaceflight company, SpaceX to provide low-cost but high-speed internet to remote locations. Now, going back to the fall of the satellites, according to scientists, when these satellites re-enter the upper atmosphere or mesosphere and then settle in the stratosphere, they release aluminum oxide particles that could, in the long run, damage the Earth's protective ozone layer. That, of course, filters out some of the harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. So what does SpaceX have to say about this? It says that its satellites burn up fully and leave behind no debris as such. Now what exactly is accounting for the fall of these satellites? An average Starlink satellite reportedly has a lifespan of about five years approximately. And as SpaceX continues to replace older satellites with newer ones, the lifespan of around 500 of the first generation Starlink satellites has already ended. And what's more, Starlink has sort of kicked off a race to the low Earth orbit. According to the European Space Agency, in the last few years, nearly 8,000 Starlink satellites have been launched. In 2025 alone, the company has launched about 376 satellites. And as of now, SpaceX has the permission to launch another 12,000 Starlink satellites and has as many as 42,000 in the pipeline. It aims to create what can be called a mega constellation. You see, the increasing demand for internet coverage globally is accelerating the rapid launch of small communication satellite constellations. Let's now tell you about a moment when a South Korean bomber dropped a bomb on its own territory. 15 people injured. In fact, an Air Force fighter jet accidentally dropped not one but eight bombs in the wrong place. The incident coming in as South Korea is holding combined live fire drills with the United States in the area. The Air Force said the eight MK-82 general purpose bombs were abnormally released from an Air Force KF-16 aircraft landing outside the designated fire range during a training exercise. And according to the Air Force, the incident took place on Thursday morning in Pocheon. This is around 25 kilometers south of the border with North Korea. The Air Force statement said that it deeply regrets the unintended release of the bombs, which resulted in civilian casualties, by the way, and which wished those injured a swift recovery. It said it had established an accident response committee to investigate the incident. The Air Force said the military jet had been participating in a joint live fire exercise involving both the Air Force and the Army. And according to local media reports, South Korea was holding combined live fire drills with the United States in Pocheon. South Korea's National Fire Agency, meanwhile, said that the bombs were presumed to have fallen on a village during a South Korea-U.S. joint exercise. It said that one church building and sections of two houses were damaged. The joint South Korea-U.S. Freedom Shield military exercises, one of the largest annual joint exercises, are set to begin later this month. Do women age faster and better than men? I know that sounds like a question that can easily spark off a heated debate. But what if there is an answer already? What if female brains age slowly as compared to male brains? Researchers say they have found a gene in mice that rejuvenates female brains and the very same gene exists in human beings as well. Now, this could possibly be a way to help both men and women avoid cognitive declines in advanced age. That's how significant this is. This discovery was part of a study published in the journal Science Advances, which also cast other significant insights on women's brains, like the effect of hormone therapy, among others. You see, previous research suggests that metabolically, the brains of aging women are years younger than those of aging men. Whereas DNA examinations reveal that female brains are a year or so younger than male brains. When researchers further probed the reasons behind this, 
they narrow down on the one factor that differentiates females from males, namely the X chromosome. While women have two X chromosomes, men have one and uh, one X and one Y chromosome. You would know this. In women during pregnancy, one of the X chromosomes shuts down and its genes are nearly muted. But as a woman ages, they get activated. Researchers also studied the part of the brain linked to memory and cognition, which could basically be affected by conditions like Alzheimer's, and found that the genes that slow the brain aging to be activated. The crux of the matter is, the research is important, as it opens up possibilities for transforming gene therapy that could instill more youthfulness and functionality in female brains. Old age no bar. You see, hormone therapy is common among many women who use it to relieve symptoms of menopause, for example, like hot flashes, dryness. But when it comes to a spot as sensitive as the brain, it warranted handling with a lot more caution and care. And since aging plus hormone therapy combined could potentially spark ailments like dementia, forgetfulness, among others. New research has emphasized on the fact that the risk of developing these conditions really depends on when a woman takes these hormonal therapies, which is ideally within 10 years of menopause, to prevent their brains from aging related damage. We now shift our focus to Iran. Authorities there have allegedly lashed a singer and musician, Mehdi Yarahi, 74 times. Why? Reportedly for encouraging women to remove their hijabs through his music. According to the singer's lawyer, this punishment handed down for his support of the nationwide protests was carried out in full. His attorney confirming the flogging in a post on social media, in fact, stating that the final part of Yarahi's sentence had been implemented by Tehran's Moral Security Prosecutor's Office and added that the case was closed. The singer reportedly wrote a post stating that a person who is not willing to pay a price for freedom is not worthy of freedom. According to reports, the 42-year-old was arrested in August 2023 and sentenced to nearly three years in prison. Along with jail time, he was also ordered to receive 74 lashes, while he ultimately served one year behind bars and paid a fine. The Iranian authorities ensured the flogging was carried out. Two years ago, the Iranian singer released a song that basically challenged Iran's strict dress codes for women. The song... Rosarito, which means your headscarf in Farsi, reportedly featured lyrics urging women to remove their scarves, let their hair down, let their hair flow, to not be afraid, and to protest against tears. That was the message. And just days after its release, Yarahi was reportedly arrested, and it came around the time when a wave of demonstrations in Iran marked the one year anniversary of Mesa Amini's death. Remember, Amini, a 22-year-old woman, died in police custody after being detained for allegedly wearing her hijab improperly. Her death sparked a major uprising against Iran's oppressive policies. And the authorities subsequently responded with major crackdowns. Yarahi's case is not the first such incident in Iran. An acclaimed Iranian filmmaker was reportedly sentenced to eight years in prison and flogging last year for allegations of national security crimes. In 2015, two Iranian poets faced 99 lashes each simply for shaking hands with members of the opposite sex. Their poetry, which authorities reportedly deemed offensive to Islamic values, also led to years of imprisonment. You see, Iran's use of flogging as a punishment for free expression continues to draw international outrage and a lot of attention, but defiance in the face of brutality continues to remain a testament to the ongoing fight for freedom.